Have you ever had to read a hard drive or USB stick that is formatted with Linux and your Windows box just can't read it? In this video, we will be looking at several different ways of looking at the contents of a Linux file system with Windows. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I can get back to counting stars. I have had several occasions where I sent a physical drive containing important data to a colleague and then they call me back saying that the drive is corrupted and then they can't read the data. But the drives are not corrupted and the reason that the drive I sent didn't work for them is because it was formatted using a Linux file system. And I use Linux file system because my forensic tools work more efficiently with the ext4 file systems than with NTFS. Another situation where this problem may come up is that most NAS and DVRs are Linux formatted. So if you want to read them natively with Windows, you will fail. The basic problem is that Windows does not understand any Linux file systems used by default by Linux machines. And when you connect a hard drive or USB stick that was formatted with a Linux file system, Windows will not understand that partition and will not assign a drive letter to it. To demonstrate, I'm going to go ahead and connect my hard drive here to my Windows box. You can hear the so you know it's physically connected. And when I bring up Disk Manager, you can see that the drive is recognized as a device, right? Device 1 right here. But there is no drive letter assigned to the partition that I'm interested in. And I can try to assign a drive letter manually, right? But when I right click on that partition, the option to assign a drive letter is just not there, right? So if you've seen this before, it's either because there is no partition there or no file system there, or it's a file system that Windows doesn't understand. So if I look at the File Explorer, it doesn't have a drive letter. I cannot access files on that drive. To solve this problem, you can download various driver programs that allow you to read the ext file system or Linux file system, but most of them have some kind of drawback. Programs like ext2 read and ext2 fsd work great, but they haven't been updated for many years, and then they don't support the newer Linux file systems like ButterFS or ZFS. Paragon software provides the Linux file system for Windows tool, but this does cost 20 US dollars for home use and probably more for commercial usage. Disk internals is another one. Um, it has a product called Linux Reader, which is free, but if you want to access ZFS or XFS, that will cost you 30 US dollars. Again, nothing wrong with paying money for useful tools, but just a heads up that they are not free. My preference is to use FTK Imager, which is a very popular free tool for digital forensics imaging and previewing. Using FTK Imager, I can read the Linux formatted partitions without having Windows assign a driver layer to that partition. So it has the additional protection of read only, so it's write protected. So let's take a look at that drive that we were not able to view before by using FTK Imager. So I'm going to go ahead and add a source. I'm going to go select the physical device. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and look for drive one. That's my external hard drive that I attached. And now, because FTK Imager understands the Linux file system, you can go over here to the left hand side of this tool and then expand the plus symbol under next to partition 2 to see that the partition contains a ext4 file system. And now I can continue to expand to the root folder and then see the files and folders contained within. And if there are files here that you want to copy over to your Windows machine, you can simply select the files or folders and have them exported. So I'm going to just copy over this folder to my desktop by right clicking on the selected folder and then select it export files. It's going to ask you for the location of the export. And then once it's done, you can go to the file explorer and then to the desktop where I put them. And here we see the folder of files that was exported from that ext4 file system from the external drive. 
Or if you prefer, you can export multiple items into a AD1 container by selecting the file or folders that you want to extract. You can right click to get the menu and then select add to custom content image. Notice that the panel on the bottom left change to custom content sources and list out the items to be added to the AD1 container. So I just added the Etsy folder. Now I am going to add the SBIN folder. And you can see that reflected in the custom content sources panel. You can add as many files as you want to the AD1 container. And now that I have all the files I want, I am ready to create the container. I can go to the menu bar and select the icon for create custom content image. Or I can click on the button on the bottom that says create image. Or I can go to the file menu and then look for the create custom content image option. Once I've selected that, I can add a destination for the AD1 output. And then you can give it a image name and then click finish. The next panel comes up. You can click on the verify images after they are created as that's a best practice for forensics. And I'm also going to have it pre-calculate the progress stats so that I have some idea of how long this will take. Once it's done creating the container, it will go ahead and verify it. We get the MD5 and SHA-1 hashes of the container to show that the image was verified to be the same as the original. We can now read the AD1 back into FTK Imager. And as I expand it back out, we can see that we have the two folders of Etsy and SBIN with their underlying files. So file systems such as ext4, ZFS, and ButterFS, which are used by Linux, are generally not accessible to Windows. However, there are a few methods of accessing drives which are formatted with these file systems. You can download specific tools that deal with the Linux file system, but the catch is that some of these driver tools cost money, some of them have bugs, and some of them don't work in Windows 10 and Windows 11. I like using FTK Imager because it's free, it's constantly being updated, and it works really well. But in any case, these are some of the tools available for you on the Windows platform if you want to read media that is in a Linux file system. For more information on FTK Imager, watch this video here. Make sure you click on the blue monkey to subscribe. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.